Hi, we're back again. I'm with John McClatchy, uh, the science guy. We're looking at some of the scientific problems. And one of the ones that comes up all the time is the whole production of semen in the Quran. Help me with this one, because this is a real, a real problem, isn't it? Right, so if you open up your Quran and go to Surah 86, verses 5 through 7, you want to... Let me read it here you? for you. Uh, Surah 86, verses 5 to 7 says, So let man see from what he is created. He is created from a water gushing forth, proceeding from between the back room, backbone and the ribs. Mm -hmm. Ooh la la. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, semen, of course, isn't produced between the wines and the chest bones as the Quran contends. Rather, it's produced in the seminal vesicle behind the bladder. Sperm is produced in the testes, and the semen is produced in the seminal vesicle behind the bladder. And so the Quran so it's important. much further down, yeah, it's much further behind down. the bladder. That's Correct. where the semen is produced, not way up here between the backbone and the rib, right. which is halfway up your body. Uh -huh. It's got the wrong location. Right. Oh, so we've got a real problem here. Now, as a science person, you would say this is a huge scientific error. Yeah, this is another scientific <laughs> wonder in the Quran. Even if they want to say it's not the, the sperm as well, we're talking about both and are still further down. Yeah. And as yeah. you know, the sperm itself has to be in a sac outside the yeah, body. Yeah, because that has to be kept below core body temperature. Otherwise, um, it, it it, it needs to be taken, it, it, otherwise it overheats at so body temperature. If it was up here yeah. in the backbone, it would be too warm to begin with. Yeah. It could not even be created. So, the fact that it's created in the wrong place is an error. Yeah. Now, God, would God make a mistake like that? No, Allah certainly would have known where <laughs> semen and, ser and sperm are produced. He certainly would have, and he wouldn't have let us get away with that. Again, just another one of these errors, the Quran proving it's nothing more than a book made by man, not from God.